So we do end up getting to see the other perspective, but the door go kaboom boom. So yeah. No! Can't be crying! No one, not even Precious Titan Boy, deserves to be crying. Ah, oh, that's so sad. You know, the Collector is quickly becoming, like, my favorite character in this show. And honestly, outside of all of this, and once the Collector does get redeemed, he is going to get redeemed. Though, the King and the Collector are totally gonna be friends, a hundred percent. Also, is it bad that I kind of relate to the Collector? And also, I love the Collector. You know, I love how King is being the more rational one here, considering in, you know, the earlier episodes of the show, he just wanted to be an evil tyrant and stuff. And I really love how the Collector is just, if King didn't get redeemed, it's, the, well, not redeemed, I mean, if King didn't have any character development. And... Well, the Collector is adorable, and yes, I am definitely going to make a couple of videos on him in the future, a few edits, and just a compilation of the Collector being adorable for who knows how long, and this is including the Season 2 bits as well, so prepare for that. And also, I'm just saying this now before I get comments, that every scene Hunter has ever been, been in video is just going to be like postponed until the last episode comes out, so please don't ask me in the comments. Okay, bye! And bye-bye, I mean, let's continue with this. <gasps> oh my god, it's cool Aunt Lilith! And also Shave Rillas is production's favorite character, Hootie Mahoot Hoot! And also Helicopter Hootie, because why the hell not? Ah, Hootie got turned into a toy slash puppet to save cool Aunt Lilith! And then she transformed too! Ah, oh, I love you, Collector, but why? I mean, I know you're a little child and want literal puppets and slash toys to play with, but... Just why? Oh, yeah, sure. Just, you know, make your new home, the Archive House, out of legitimately the skull of one of either King's father or an ancestor. Yeah, that that's so cool. That's totally chill, Collector. Chill. Rain is alive. That's all I have to say. I mean, we kind of knew that, but what are you going to do? Also, is this Rain's first time seeing Harpy Hoodie? What? Harpy Hootie? Why did I say Harpy Hootie? I mean, I, I can't tell if I said Harpy Hootie or Harpy Hootie. Harpy Hootie. Can we, please, can we make that a meme? Can we make Harpy Hootie? Well, both of them. Can we make both of those a meme? Please? This animation is everything. And the collector is being adorable. You look fun. Wanna play? I love this title card. This logo of the Owl House, so much. Best character is damaged. I don't know how to feel about that, and I'm still not used to his new scars. I just, I also just love Camila being, like, ready to kill Bellows. Can Camila be the one to kill him, please? Hooray! Hunter, best character, is getting even more emotional damage because of the twerps that that weird bird thing makes and disheartening willow and gus for trying to you know be happy about the whole thing and trying to cheer him up in some sort of way well it probably wasn't trying to cheer him up it was probably just because they were happy to be home also for your willow haters can you tell me why you dislike willow in the comments because i legitimately don't understand why people dislike her she's not boring she has her own internal struggles and struggles as a character, because her entire life, she's up to, well, when Luce met her and became par part of the Plant Coven, she was just being called half a witch, even though she is a full witch. Bellos is the half witch here. And, well, I mean, you can guess you can apply that to Luce, but Luce is becoming a full witch here, so that doesn't really apply to her. It it's just Bellos. So... I mean, yeah, I did not like Willow that much in season one, and I kind of did think she was a bit boring at the beginning, but she did get better and grow, grew, grown, ha, huh, puns, as, she, as the series went on. And this is, this is Willow at her best. Well, this episode is not Willow at her best. 
mentally that is, but as her character, well, at the end of the episode, she's at her best in the entire series. And I still don't know why people like her. I mean, I will comment about her struggles as we go on further this point. So I might make notes on it. So let's just continue before I go on a full rant. I might, I might make a video about why Willow is maybe a boring character in the future, because I do want to branch out my content a little bit. Okay, this is getting a bit too deep. Let's continue on with the ha-has. Okay, go! Yes, Amity with the goop. It's so amazing. This moment has editing material, and I've seen edits going around. And Lumity moment! Woo! POV. This is the Owl House if it was E-rated, and it wasn't gay says the Disney executors. I- why was the Owl House cancelled? This is like the best- one of the best shows on Disney Channel, period. Well, not the best show ever since, you know, Avatar apparently has that title. I mean, I can't call to say if uh, Avatar is the best show ever made. Well, animation show ever made. Since I have not watched that, nor Legend of Korra. It just has not interest me yet. Though I will say, uh, the, 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 the funny blue coat dude that I should know his name, basically the guy who voices Callum, Sakura, that's, that's his name, Sakura. Sakura is, pro is probably the best character in the show that I know of so far, so yeah. The person who has not watched Avatar, it says Sakura's best character, and I find Suko hot along with Katara? Katira? Katara? I, 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 I don't know her name, sorry. Kneel before me and bow to the superior Wittabine brother. I am Caleb, the guy you have killed. And now you are slowly dying. Be back. You are worthless. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Along with Adalia. We are both goddamn trash. Gus is the younger, sadder boy in the world because he misses his father. Hunter is the saddest, most traumatized bo boy in the bo on the aisles because he just lost Flapjack and the palisman can sense it. Willow is the saddest girl right now in this current time other than Luce because she does not know where her family is and she's emotionally breaking down from the inside. I cannot speak. This entire scene is so cute because not only do we have, you know, Luce sitting in Ida's nest, uh, kind of a reflection to Intruder from episode four of season one, I think. We also get Ghost to backstory and find out that she is a she. I mean, I, I kind of assumed she was a she, but, you know, what are you going to do? Also, gigantic gloomity moment. What more could you ask for? And Ghost being adorable. That is more we can ask for. Season 1 reference. Nice! Something is coming, my young Padawans. Is it a good amphibia crossover? Better than the Chibi special? No, my Padawans. It be Sparkles! Other cute, so many moments. This entire scene is genuinely terrifying. Willow getting more emotional damage, a hunt, a hunt low moment, I'll probably get into that type of ship later. The Collector being even more adorable. But why is Terra Snapdragon here? Can we kill her off, please? What she did to Rain and Ida is just so heartbreaking. I, I, I don't like her. She's one of my least favorite characters. Don't hate her as much as Adalia and... Bellos, though. Oh, the collector looks so sad, and King comforting her them. It's so cute. These two need to be happy. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, another episode one reference. So, my younglings, the eyeballs on the ground are good, but the tiny space tyrant is bad. Yes, Master Camilla, they seem to be playing a game of my life, which is messed up, and the collector is adorable and not a tyrant. So stop saying that. Oh my God, it's Scar, I'm at falling you and Barkus.